This video will cover digital SAT grammar rules, specifically on dashes. So there's only one use to a dash on the SAT, which is dashes are only used to separate non-essential elements from the rest of the sentence. So the example here says that crab, the large one by the dock, would make a good lunch. So in this case, the phrase here, the large one by the dock, is a non-essential element and therefore is separated by the rest of the sentence by two dashes. The tricky part about this is that commas can also do the same thing. The only thing is that a comma must be used before and after, like a dash. So always watch out for using a dash before and after, or a comma before and after. Never mix the two. So let's look at an example. Which choice completes the text so that it conforms to the conventions of standard English? Eli Eisenberg, a geneticist and genetics expert at Tel Aviv University in Israel, recently discovered that Blink have a special genetic ability called RNA editing that confers evolutionary advantages. So option A says cephalopods, comma, ocean dwellers that include the squid, comma, octopus, comma, and the cuttlefish. This is incorrect because for this, it would be correct if there were a comma after the cuttlefish to separate this phrase from the rest of the sentence, but this is not the case, so A is incorrect. B. Cephalopods dash ocean dwellers dash that include the squid, the octopus, and the scuttlefish, comma. This is incorrect because the dashes used here are used incorrectly, uh, whereas they should be placed one before ocean and one after cuttlefish, not after dwellers, so B is incorrect. C. Cephalopods, comma, ocean dwellers that include Poland, the squid, comma, the oct octopus, comma, and the cuttlefish, comma. This is incorrect because uh, although the commas are used correctly, the semicolon here is incorrect because in this case, when it's using the words that include, there's no need for a colon here. So C is incorrect. D. Cephalopods, dash, ocean dwellers that include the squid, comma, the octopus, comma, and the cuttlefish, dash. This is the correct answer because the dashes are used properly here to separate this part of the sentence from the rest of the sentence and the commas are used correctly here to show that it's a list. So D is the correct answer.